Hey guys, uh, this is Nick from Collective, and today I'm going to teach you about how to use the art editor that's inside of our card editor. There's four tools that you're going to use in the art editor. Uh, first is the drawing tool. It's pretty straightforward. You just click anywhere and a line will show up. You can use different brushes and you can make the lines bigger. And then you can change the color as well. So let's make it hot pink. And then you can also add a shadow to the lines. So the width is what the spread of the shadow is. And then the offset is how far away from your line the shadow will appear. So here, that's kind of nice if you wanted to really <laughs> get, you wanted to really look like it's popping out of the page, you can do that. And then you can also change the shadow color as well. Although, I mean, this looks like really ugly to me. I don't know if that's the best idea. Um, the second tool is the text editing tool here. So you can type whatever you want and you don't have to use the this cartoony font, which we use in our game. You can also select from a couple other ones. The text has a little black line around it. That's called a stroke. So you can change the width of the stroke here. You could change the, whoa. You can change the color of the stroke and the text. And if you want to resize the text, you actually want to use the selection tool. So when you select something, you just by clicking on it here, it'll show you these anchor points and you can use it to make it smaller. And with text, you can actually stretch it out um, vertically, but you can't stretch it out horizontally. You'd have to like, you know, do it the other way, basically. And, and you can also use this anchor here to rotate things. You can do the same thing with lines. Like when you move this around here, you can see a shadow moves with it as well. And you can, even though it's a line, you can still distort it to make it really tall or really, really small like that. The third tool is the image tool. And actually, before we go to the image tool, I'm just going to delete everything here. So the image tool lets you add in art from our core set of cards, which is made by Alexander Zagorulko, or art from other artists, which have uh, added their art to our art editor. So Murderous Automaton, very cool guy. Yeah, shout out to Murderous Automaton. He has like a bunch of art here. It's like really interesting stuff. And... Uh, you can distort these in the same way as other images or the drawing or text elements. And uh, the last tool that you can use here is the filters. And the filters are really cool. You can do like a bunch of stuff with these things. So it's basically like Photoshop filters. Uh, you can use all these different, you can, okay, it's like a sepia tone thing. Um, this one's really cool. It kind of uh, r rotates and accentuates the saturation of the image. And then I think one of the most useful filters that I've seen in the card editor is the hue rotation filter, which sort of oh, actually, okay, well, it works great here because you can just change the color of this thing because it's the only thing that has any sort of saturation. But with this, it has this really interesting effect, sort of like a psychedelic effect where you, you can make something look really different, but you don't have to change that much. A lot of the cards that, if I just want some quick art, I can just take a piece of art from some other uh, card and just kind of rotate the hue. And it looks pretty different. So if you're just trying to do something fast, this is a pretty good way to do it. The last filter that I'm gonna talk about here is the remove color filter. And this one's kind of weird. What it does is it has a color you, you set some sort of cult color here, and then this percentage bar shows how much of that color you're going to remove. So I selected this like light green, and then you can see that like as it goes up, the lighter things, the things which are closer to light green get removed. And then at the maximum, there's nothing there. And if you set it to black, it does something really different. It like removes all the dark things. So... Uh, this one's pretty tricky to use. It never works exactly the way I want it to, but 
you can get some interesting effects just by so you know if you have it like halfway here you can just change around the color and see how things look different with this this is gonna we're gonna come back to this later when we're putting in icons because the icons use this remove color filter heavily so anyway, I'm gonna delete this by the way you can delete it with the delete key on your keyboard you just select it and delete it so there's several different artists which have added their uh, art to our game but <laughs> including Alex mom <laughs> but uh, a lot of the art is uh, from gameicons.net which is a free library of icons which are used in a lot of indie games and they have a ton so there's 162 pages here of icons so you can kind of skip through them 10 at a time with these buttons or one at a time with uh, the smaller arrow buttons and then if you want to be surprised you can click on random page so you'll notice that the icons as are represented here have a black background and white icon but then when they show up here they have a transparent background and that's actually because by default when you add in an icon we add the remove color filter to it so if you remove that remove color filter you can see this is what the icon normally looks like but the most common usage of an icon is just to remove the background here and then you like place a couple on top of each other and they have a transparent background maybe you can put something behind it and so you might have seen that kind of style in some of the cards that I've made and put on the subreddit already okay so that should cover the four tools in the art editor if you want to see how they can combine into an interesting card then check out the second and final tutorial on the art editor <laughs>